Pregnancy is one of the most confusing times for couples. There are a lot of restrictions regarding what you can eat and what you can't. The basics are that you can't touch alcohol or cigarettes, but what about all the extra supplements and vitamins you'll need to take? The overflow of all this information can confuse a person very easily, so let's take a look at the 5 vitamins pregnant ladies should stock up on. First of all, to make matters easier for stressed pregnant ladies, there are prenatal vitamins available. These multivitamins are specially formulated so that all the needs are met without picking out various vitamins by themselves. Usually, they're meant to be taken before conception, during pregnancy, and breastfeeding too. Obviously, these vitamins aren't meant to replace your healthy diet plan. It's just a sort of safety net in case any nutrients are lacking. If you're taking these, other vitamins and minerals might not even be necessary. Usually, your doctor will discuss this with you. Next in line is folate, which is a B vitamin. This vitamin plays an important role in DNA synthesis, red blood cell production, fetal growth, and development. Finally, you might have heard of folic acid, which is its synthetic form, the one found in most supplements. You're recommended to take at least 600 micrograms of it every day. It can reduce the risk of neural tube defects and other congenital abnormalities. This vitamin is so necessary because a folate deficiency can take a toll on your pregnancy in the very early stages. Since many pregnancies are unplanned, women can slack off when it comes to supplementation with this vitamin, so be careful. The third vital vitamin you need is iron. Since another body is developing inside you, the need for iron increases by about 45%. Iron is responsible for oxygen transport and the development of not just the baby, but also the placenta. Unfortunately, a lot of people have anemia, which can be transferred to the baby if you don't take the recommended 27 milligrams of iron per day. In fact, if you have anemia, you might need a little more. Finally, make sure you keep your blood count in check. You wouldn't want any bad blood with your newborn. Moving on to the fourth vitamin, we have vitamin D. This fat-soluble vitamin is important for a lot of things, such as immune function, bone health, and even cell division. A deficiency of this vitamin has been linked to an increased risk of caesarean section, preterm birth, and even gestational diabetes, all things you want to steer clear of. The most updated intake you should take is 15 micrograms, but every individual is different and requires a different amount of vitamins. It's best to just have a chat with your doctor. Monitoring yourself during these months will be the best thing you can do for yourself and your baby. Last but not least, we have magnesium, which is involved in almost every chemical reaction that happens in your body. A lack of this mineral and you might be dealing with premature labor and chronic hypertension. Since this mineral is involved in immune, muscle, and nerve function, you have to be sure you're consuming enough of it. Some studies even suggest that taking magnesium supplements can reduce risks of complications such as fetal growth restriction. Taking extra care of yourself during pregnancy can save you a lot of stress later in life, so make sure you have a healthy diet and are exercising appropriately, and don't forget to take your vitamins.